I'm thinking I'm with Jacob from Diamond Sea Trailers, and what is new in the Diamond Sea booth, Jacob? Right, several things. We got a completely revamped telescopic dump trailer. Completely uh, revamped? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see we've already got the telescopic hoist going right. up right through the center of the box. The big thing is up front. We've got the, we incorporated the HD V-tongue lid design that we have on your LPX yep. up front. Yep. Same style design, just kind of contoured around the telescopic so you can have the space to be able to haul on top, but you also have storage area inside for chains, boomers, uh, you know, straps, whatever you need in there that can be locked out of the way. Okay. That's a huge, huge piece of it. Yep. Uh, it's a high flow pump, so it's a new pump for the LPT. It, one of the, the things about telescopics, they're so long, right? They have such a long stroke that the cycle time is longer than a scissor lift in most case. But with this high flow pump, it cuts the cycle time down by a minute, which is very that's close huge. to what a scissor lift does, and it yeah. gets you back to work quicker. Okay. So, those yeah, that's two, pretty huge. Yeah, itself. those are two big deals. Um, this tarp system is is big. You know, if you've used that old st pool style tarp, yep. but you got to have two people. And it's, I always say it's like putting on a wet T-shirt. It's like super <laughs> awkward, and you're trying to get it over the stuff. But with this one, one man can crank it over your load. Super easy. What's up, Christine? Oh wow. Jacob, we're gonna do that one more time. New, uh, new tarp system. Go for it, Jacob. Diamond C. Check out how easy this is. Sometimes it's a little things. What's your thoughts on that one? And it's got a new telescopic hoist with the telescopic hoist going straight through the toolbox. So you got your whole tongue now becomes a giant toolbox. Now I've heard some of you guys criticize that telescopic hoist sticking up over the top of that dump box thing. And that's just a big dread flag to get hit by one of your equipment operators. And I'm gonna respond to that by saying, if one of your guys ends up hitting that when they're loading your trailer, Maybe you got the wrong guy loading your trailer. Sure. What else, Jacob? Solar panel? Yeah, that's a solar triple charger. Solar panel. Okay, so what's, what's the next new thing? Is it still on this trailer? So we did, we have some of the same features on this big gooseneck dump. You got the, the new tarp. One thing on this one is the a new hydraulic jack from Stillwell. be this fall. Um, it, it replaces the, I know, I got it. Misspoke. It's a lipper jack, not still well. Okay, it's yeah. a, a lipper jack? Lipper brand, which is the same folks that we buy the axles from, but they've developed it. It was for, they use it, have used it many years for leveling systems for the big RVs. Mm -hmm. So it's a 25K rated jack on both sides. Uh, it's new, a lot smoother, cleaner look. Let's see. If I jump over here to the GTF. So we've had the GTF. When you were here last year, we, we revealed the all new GTF. So what we're back with this year is the 102 wide version of it. So typically the GTF is only 83 wide between the fenders, but now this one has the extensions on the outside and the drive over fenders. What was the idea by doing this? It was to be able to accommodate the guys that are hauling sand rails out west, uh, the big dune buggies, oversized pickups, UTVs, things like that that, that need the water uh, water platform to load, so it just uh, helps those guys be able to get their their toys to the mm -hmm. to the dunes or to the track. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And it's got the deck over lid as well. Yep, it's we've got, got an integrated top down system into the side. You've got stake pocket holes, and you've also got I call these smileys, but your automotive straps or your hook straps can get in there. Go right in all there. the way down the side. This one's an outfit of aluminum wheels, so dressed up a little bit. Last year when you're here, we were talking 2.0. We were talking all kinds of different the uh, material fleet, strings, right? all that. Yep. So we're back here. We're finally ready for production on 2.0. We've got a couple of uh, 2.0 products here. Um, the, the example, the thing is like the, the neck is higher yield, lighter weight. We've cut 65 pounds of weight just out of the neck. So lots of little changes like that that have lightened the F-Max or the, the gooseneck trailers up, but made them stronger now, at the same now time. Now you were talking about, you were using some of the heaviest 
steel in the, the strongest steel. Strongest. Strongest yeah, steel. But people were talking about it being uh, high ten or fracturing or something like yeah. that. There was some so, some pushback on that, and I don't recall what those comments were. But yeah. can you address what you sure. your, you know what those are? For sure. Yeah, you have to you have to know um, what you're doing with that steel, right? You can't just go grab higher yield material and start using it the same way and not expect a different outcome. So when we went to it, we we start using that steel and we have to support it different ways but we're not in a, such an exotic yield strength of steel that it's super fragile right mm -hmm. and so it all it means is that that steel will be able to endure more stress before it begins to fail so it's it is it went from grade 50 on the frame to grade 100 basically 50 percent higher yield that mean it, that it can endure that stress before it begins to fail and that's so, what you're at is a grade 100 on yeah, the frame grade 100 on the frame grade 80 in the neck okay so, yeah where's the 2.0 then on the next one on the next one's is the step deck okay so the this step deck is is a short version and we've had the been building the sdx for a while it had have had multiple um multiple people online ask for a shorter version just to be able to haul equipment and so this one is a 32 foot bottom deck versus the, the standard right now is either 38 40 or 44. so it's a short equipment hauler version be able to haul one like concentrated backhoe or track hoe or something like that on it so, so this is a new design yeah it's a new we design. have a round of applause it's a new design in the short being so short and better active and better Hey guys, we're back with Jacob from Diamond Sea Trailers checking out what is new this year, 20. This is coming out 2023. Yep. And we're looking at your third specialized 32 foot deck over trailer that you custom built for guys hauling backhoes and shorter equipment. For sure. Okay. Yeah, the SDX has been around, but as I was saying, we get requests for shorter versions of it. And the beauty of it though is you get the, the eight by 10 deck on the neck, which gives you 80 square feet of working space versus on a normal gooseneck, you don't have that area. And then you have a set of eight and a half foot slide out ramps that come out of the back of the deck on the neck to where you, you now turn your 32 foot trailer into a 42 foot trailer because you can actually load a vehicle on top of the deck on the neck as well. So you have both, you can use both as, as a full length trailer. Another piece of the 2.0, technology on on the gooseneck and on the step deck we move the spare under the frame just like you have on a pickup truck to where it's not taking up valuable space in the neck and you it's a lot easier to handle because you just lower it down and then slide it out from under it versus having to heave hoe it out of the neck of a gooseneck oh that is pretty cool it's much better and that that also gave us some real estate in the neck to turn around and do some really cool stuff with storage and will you will you do it one let's go up and down one time so okay all right, guys, we're checking out how you access the spare on this brand new 32 foot. Just crank it down. That looks like a floating spare tire. That is <laughs> just wild. Out. It's no, just no hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, so. that is wild. That is really cool, Jacob. What else do you got new than this year? So last year we brought the X ramp, which is your trailer, but it's the 102 wide version. Mm -hmm. um, and we brought it. We weren't exactly 100% happy with it. We told you we were bringing that stuff for feedback. Okay. And so the feedback was ramps too heavy. And so we've been working for the last year to really make it a lot lighter of a ramp. And with no, we're pretty successful, I feel like. That's why we brought it back again. We're almost ready for production, but now it, it tells the tale that it's that much lighter. It almost sticks in between. So can you lift that with one up and down with one hand? Pretty smooth indeed. So it took a while you know, to, to get the springs just right. We wanted to make sure that the product was 
a good experience before we release it, it's finally ready to release. So my feedback, Jacob's saying he wanted feedback because a lot of the stuff that I got in my trailer was prototype, mm -hmm. right? I mean, brand new technology. My Diamond C trailer is one of my two favorite trailers of all time, period, hands down, drives smoother than any trailer. It is the smoothest driving trailer I've ever owned in my life, absolutely to a fault. Yeah. To a to fault. fault. To a fault. Because sometimes you don't know it's back there. <laughs> you get too comfortable and complacent. It's always nice to hear something rattling Rattle and waking bit. you up yeah. and going, yeah, hey, I'm still back here. You know, you can feel it a little sure. bit. Nothing. In fact, a lot of times if you're getting on the phone or something else, I have to look up and go, is the trailer? And then you got to look because it rides so low. I mean, it was just the only, and then that's the, that is a fault because it is that smooth and that nice. And I know that you guys are like, oh, that don't sound like a fault. But the other thing that we don't like is the latch system for the ramp. Hold the ramp down. The ramp, it just, it went out on us, Jacob. I mean, plain and simple, the raw truth is. Yeah. And we are using a bungee strap over the top right of over. it now to do it. That was the only two things that I could see where and the first one, I'm not going to ask you to make my trailer more rattly, so don't do that. Yeah, no, we'd love to get that, uh, you know, see how that latch failed. Because that's, we, we, the only way we get better is continuously, you know, seeking feedback from customers, taking it to heart and going back to the design board to make it better. And so that, that's, uh, I'd love to see the pictures of what happened with those latches so that we can take it to the engineers and, hey, we got to make this better. So. Is there anything else in your booth this year to, to cover? This is a new color for us. Sherwin Williams developed it for us over the last couple of months. It's called Dynamic Blue, uh, kind of a, a diamond sea blue, if you will. And we're super excited about it. Uh, it's going to be our new blue color. It's going to replace the current one. It's a little darker, uh, but so it's a new vibrant blue. Same powder coat process. It's uh, it's that that we we when you toured that we talked about. Um, and just you, as durable and beautiful. If you haven't seen it. Uh, the Diamond Sea Powder Coat co Powder Co process is incredible. Absolutely, I toured the factory. The microphone wasn't the best because it was so loud in there, but if you guys really want to know, hands down the absolute best paint process I've ever witnessed in my life on a piece of any equipment anywhere. Plain and simple. I've just never seen anything like it. So that video is up. You guys should go check that out. It is, is, uh, is jaw-dropping. And that's it. That's it buddy. New from Diamond Sea. Yes, All right, big thanks goes out to Jacob yes, Thank letting you. us tour. Right. So uh, appreciate it, you guys. What was your favorite part of what you seen? Was it the tarp system? Was it the engineered fleet neck? What was? What did you guys like to? What did you guys like about this video? Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, we will hopefully catch you guys on another one and go visit Jacob's channel. What's your channel, Jacob? Diamond Sea Trailers. Diamond Sea Trailers. He walks through these things straight and forward just like you heard today. God bless. Go get him, you guys. We'll catch you on another one.